This episode of Awu is brought to you by Vincero Watches. Vincero. Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, that's brutal. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Awu. Hello. I'm Rocket. And you're watching Awu. Nay. For the week of... Jeremy's got the note. December 31st, 2018. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year, everyone. Uh, we're opening... So some people sent in Achievement Hunter gifts for Christmas. So we're going through those. They didn't have Awu on them, but they just they were sent to us. Uh, so we're opening them now. There's a lot of Christmas stuff in here, including something like this for Jeff. So we'll uh, we'll set that up for him. Cover your uh, toilet toilet seat. Anyway, some ornaments. There's, uh, there's all kinds of fun stuff in there. Hey, game releases this week oh, for December man. 31st. It's a big list. Brace yourself. We're gonna we start have with fitness boxing. boxing. Yeah, it's for the Nintendo Switch and. That's it. That's yeah. it. There's nothing else coming out. That's the, the game. Did you guys mention fitness boxing? We mentioned it. fitness boxing, Jeff. Yeah. So I'm looking Don't forward worry. to fitness boxing 2. That's next year. Yeah, next That's year. 2020. That's sequel. Yeah. That's DLC. Uh, hey, but what about Achievement Hunter? What they about Achievement Hunter? They release a lot Hunter? of stuff. Not just one game. They release a lot of things. Uh, such oh, as shit. Janlock. Hey. Hey. That's our new monthly thing. Like we, what was, uh, December? dc Temper was that? Well, January is Janlock. So, uh, it's to celebrate Janlock coming out, which you should absolutely check out. It comes out at the end of the month. It's either the 26th or the 28th. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't remember. Uh -huh. But when is, when did it come out, Jeff? When is Janlock? January 26th, I believe. 26th. That was right. Um. Wait, what? December 26th or January? January 26th. January 26th. So you said you could check out the first episode? Yes, but they like kind of shadow released the first episode. Like they didn't really even announce it. And it just but it's not on the site, up. is it? Like they, they... I think it was. It was just streamed. It was just streamed. Oh, it was just streamed. So we, we sneakily streamed. If you watched the Ruby live stream, afterwards they ran the first episode of Genlock and damn, it's good. Yeah. So you, you missed it. If you missed it, don't worry. January 26th. That's when you can watch the first episode. Hey, Jack, I'm sending you some of my favorite ska bands. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sending two albums from Save Ferris. It means everything in the Vincent Black Shadow, Fears in the Water from Luciano. This is an awesome album. I remember having this album back in the day, so thank you, Luciano. Appreciate it. You hit Jack's music perfectly. Um, so, yeah, anyways, because we're celebrating Gen Lock, uh, Jan Lock is our January theme, and it means we're playing games that involve big robots. Big robots. And uh, we start that off with Halo 4, because they've got the mantises. You the yourself gen locked. Um, so we gen, we gen lock a lot in Halo 4. We do a lot 4. of gen locking. Um, and you guys are going to love hearing us say gen lock. We're gonna, so we say it a lot in that video. We calm it down after that a little bit. Um, then we got a Battle Buddies coming out in Towerfall. Did you know Towerfall had a co-op mode? Well, it does. And then Ryan and I play it because our new opponent in Battle Buddies is Hitler. That's right. Hitler's back again, and we're fighting him again. Uh, but we have to get to him starting with Towerfall. What just happened? Oh, it's a glitter bomb. <laughs> it was a glitter bomb. Did you oh. mention the Wii Boxing game? No. Oh. Yeah, we mentioned uh, oh, no, fitness boxes. It's not for a Wii. At least it went towards the trash. Yeah. And not all on me. Uh, let's see. Let's play in Pummel Party, which is like Mario Party. Uh, kind of Halloween themed. Uh, that was with Fiona. So it was Michael, Fiona, Lindsay, and Alfredo, I think. So they played that. A.H. Sheriff of Nottingham 1 comes out. I think that's a uh, board... No, uh, what is it? Uh, Let's Roll. I keep almost calling it Board as Hell. That's Fun Houses. Uh, Let's Roll, Sheriff of Nottingham. Let's roll as Hell. Part 1. That's what's coming out. Uh, Let's Play in Viscera Cleanup Detail. Remember that game? Remember that? Fiona yeah. was in that, right? Or was Fiona in that? No, Fiona was... wasn't in that one. But we just decided to play it. We were like, oh, remember this game? Let's play it again. We enjoyed that so we did that. It's, it's, it's relaxing. And by popular demand... Let's watch Thief Simulator Part 2. You guys love Thief Simulator Part 1, so 2 is coming out, and we'll do 3 at some point soon. And also by popular demand, Lasso is back again. Not really by popular demand. We were going to do it whether you wanted it or not. Lasso The Storm comes out, which is kind of a long level. It's got a scarab in it. It's I like, one. like the thing that series sort of tapered off after the first episode when I wasn't in the mini. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's really I'm just really gone plummeted. Downhill. What do you got? Uh, one of three. Hey, Jeff, since you're basically the only literate one in the office, fuck you. Uh, these are for Brian you. I would also say fuck you. <laughs> if you're not there when this gets open, I assume the rest of you monkeys will like <laughs> will eat it or burn <laughs> it like or whatever. But possibly the you can try reading for monkey. a change. <laughs> the rest of you monkeys. Ah, this guy's ah, a very low ah, opinion of us. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> ah. Nice. Um, anyway, these are my first books of one of my best college friends. Um, and I'm super proud of her, so enjoy. They're a classic sci-fi with heavy emphasis on the size, so maybe you'll learn some physics. <laughs> he's like eating. Yeah, just gosh. eating paper. No so, uh, also, so apparently he's in two boxes, so here's two of them. It's Supernova and Lightless by Ka Higgins. C.A. Higgins. And I nice. don't know if there's a third one, but I only got two of three of the messages, so thank you very much for that. Ooh, I like yes, the cover. Yes, we can read. I like the cover art. Oh, there's so much glitter over here. Ooh. That was my bad. No, 
that was my bad. Hey, are you in Australia? Do you want to go see Achievement Hunter live? Jack's all over the place. He's bouncing around. From you should to see point. Achievement Hunter live. Go to RoosterLive.com. Pick up your tickets to AH Live. We're going to be in Sydney. We're going to be in Melbourne. We're going to be in Perth. And we're going to do a community meetup the day before the big show. Then we're going to do the big show. If you get tickets to the show, you can go to the community meetup. It's going to be lots of fun. And uh, yeah, so tickets are available. RoosterLive.com. Pick them up now. It makes a good New Year's present. Although if you're watching this in Australia, it might be New Year's already. Makes a good 2019 present. Do it. You bitch. Well, that, was, that was rude. Hey, you've been asking for it. And finally, it's coming out. The stream highlights from the Achievement Hunter unboxing stream. That's coming out. So, that your you know, name finally, that's coming out. Uh, we got Mario. It just says Mario Part, but we know that means Mario Party. Uh, the final map. Oh, Mario Part? Yep, yeah, Mario out, Part. That's the final map is... Uh, they use a barber, right? It's, it's uh, a lot of fuckery. I think in that one because it's just you got to get to the end and buy as many stars as you can. Oh. Uh, ba ba Roulette's play is finally back. It's in NHL, which is like two to three episodes back from what we've recorded. So Roulette's play finally making its return, and hopefully we'll get those episodes out. Galactic Craft 17 coming out, and finally GTA 5 Overtime Rumble Part Two. Hey Jeremy, I figured since you get compared to Joaquim from Sabaton a yep. lot, one of my faves, you might as well own an album of theirs. Cheers, Nick I'll Bernard. Let's do it on the way home. Mini Metal 94 everywhere else. Thank you very much, Mini Metal 94, Nick Bernard. Uh, cool. Let's a see. Today. A Lifetime of War. Uh, Carolus Rex. Killing Ground. Jeff, this has your name on it. I mean, open it for you. Please do. Thank you. Sabaton. I've been meaning to listen to Sabaton, so now, now I'll do it. I'm sure I'll like it. It's, yeah, it's going to be Get some Siler in there. Out. Get some Sabaton in there. Yeah. Uh, you know what, what I listened to the other day? What do you listen to? Neck today? Deep. Who? Neck, Neck Deep? deep? It was pretty good. We had them in the office. I wasn't here when they were here. They were fun. They, they were, were fun to have in. Uh, while Jack opens that, uh, I'm going to read a request here. It says, Hey, Lindsay. My wife, Lindsay. Uh, not you, same name. Really likes your cooking on Instagram and wishes you would make a YouTube cooking show. Uh, please make her wish come true. Well, we'll relay that to Lindsay when she comes in. Lindsay makes cupcakes a lot. Hey, Jeff and gang. <laughs> Years ago at PAX, I had the pleasure to chat with you for a time. I remembered you mentioning since the army made you wear a watch every day, not liking them wear... Uh, God. Since the army made you wear a watch every day, not liking to wear them anymore. There we go. So hope this helps keep being awesome. Oh, nice. It's, uh, this is a, it's a little pocket watch. Fucking thanks, dude. So, Jeff said fucking. Thanks. There's no name on it. Merry Christmas. Is this a little nothing person to you? There we go. Of course, if you want to wear a watch, you could always wear a Vincero watch. You can. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. This is yours, Jeffrey. Oh, that's lovely. (gasps) Oh, it opens. Oh, and it's got a little safety plastic. Thank you. We got a question here from B Cubed saying, do you guys work seven days a week or do you guys have the normal nine to five Monday through Friday schedule? That's interesting that you brought up because um, I saw a post like recently about this on, on Reddit. People what asking like, do do? what do we, what do these guys do? They don't do anything like when they're not filming. Um, yeah, and, and sometimes, yeah, we have downtime between filming and things like that. Um, quite often, because people will see my desk, usually I close things like this. Like when I'm working on projects and stuff. When we do AWU, I like to get rid of that. Get rid of my emails just so people... Uh, this is the new TOP for the Australia. For Australia Live. Look. Then with the help of a brag, they realize the skies are now our home with planet after planet being colonized. Ooh, it's about Galacticraft. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and in terms of a 9 to 5 Monday through Friday schedule, you know, we can we come in late and we do however many videos we need to do, but that's because we also work a lot of weekends, we work a lot of nights, depending on what our schedules need us to do. They just say, hey, come in and film all of this ghost hunting stuff. You're going to this other place and staying overnight for two nights and working the whole time, and we go, okay, cool. Right, you're doing RTX, so you're going to work Monday through Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday beat RTX. Maybe take off Monday, but then you're back at work on Tuesday. Why don't I take off Monday? Shit to do. Yeah, Yeah. so it's, it's, the schedule is really chaotic, and between it, we're all working on our own different yeah. things. People but have different projects. Our sort of core hours are like 10 to about 5. Yeah. I think that's yeah, where, like... like not, not, just because you come in at 10 doesn't mean that's the hours. I'd say all of us, like the core hours. Like, how much filming gets hap- happens between 9 and 10 a.m.? Uh, it could. None, yeah. because it's just Jeremy and I. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just saying. The Jeremy and Jeff show starting soon. 
It's so. called it's called Before the Others. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our new show. Hey, Achievement Hunter, I was watching an Awu late last February and noticed that, quite tragically, you guys accidentally broke a mug that was sent to you by another fan. Here's hoping this makes up for that lost Cooper. If the last time someone did that, we've it got, didn't go well. We've got ourselves a little Trump figure. He talks. Oh, he does? What does he say? Friends in the morning. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. <laughs> That's awesome. And also, we got <laughs> ourselves going on my desk. A, a, a Make America Great Again hat. So, thank you very much. Here you go, Jeremy. This is, I mean, I think this is for you, right? You're the... Oh, I'm the because like I'm shitty. Because I'm the conservative one. <laughs> you are. Yeah. So there we go. I'm so conservative. Oh, he bent it already. I can't wear a straight brim. Uh, I can't do it, dude. I have to right. bend them. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Cooper. Oh, this hat's big. <laughs> Why is it so huge? Uh -huh. America is a large country. Yeah. Get over it. Yeah. And this is definitely Can't going on my desk. Not our fault. Was this one of the ones that was addressed to me? Oh no, it wasn't. No, no, it was addressed to us because we broke a mug last has year. Spread like cancer. <laughs> what a mess I inherited. <laughs> Portable HB. Oh yeah, we use these things. Uh, uh, over a year after I finally got my box of rude white balloons, I'm so glad they were originally for target practice, but you can use them for whatever. They should have multiple different messages on them. Love you all so much for the great work you do. Portable HB sent over the. Uh, The hell? The lovely message. That's super nice. I just hit Alec in the dick. Thank you, Portable. So, hey, if you have something you want to send to us, 1901 East 51st Street, Austin, Texas, 78723, uh, make sure to put awu slash achievement hunter in the mailing address so it comes to us. If it says awu, it's going to go in the, in the storage area and it'll be opened like Portable HB's box opened like a year late. Sorry, it happens. If you want to send something specifically to us, don't put Awu in it, and we'll get it and we'll open it. But we probably won't open it on camera. This is cool. What do you so mean? it says, uh, "Congrats on your other gift." Sorry, uh, it says, "Congratulations on your Maker's Mark ambassadorship." Uh, what? Take this relationship to the next little level and consider you a partner in spreading the word about the carefully crafted bourbon we both love. Uh. Your, I have official credentials and barrel certificate, an etched plate bearing your name that has been fastened to barrel number 816472. So now there's a bourbon with your name on it, literally. Oh, wow. Um, so there's now a barrel, apparently, at Maker's Mark headquarters that has my name on it. I'm the ambassador of that oh, yeah? barrel. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty... That's pretty cool. Uh, holy crap, look at this. This is all so goddamn official. This wow. is just... That's fancy paper. You just made bourbon history right there. Uh, here's the Ooh, sealed it's a, certificate. It's a stamp. You know, with the wax seal on there. This certifies that Maker's Mark Barrel number 816472 will bear the name of Jeremy Dooley in recognition of loyalty, outstanding dedication, in-depth knowledge, <laughs> uh, and services as an honorable Maker's Mark ambassador. Nice. Well, wow. What, what, what duties comes out? Is it like the Queen's Guard? Do you have to go like stand in front of your barrel once a year? For a I whole day. Drink it all. I guess so. And Just tap and, it and chug guess it. what? What? Now you got somewhere to be buried in. That's true. It Dump came with right it came barrel. with business cards. Jerry <laughs> uh, Dooley, it? Oh, ambassador oh, number eight. It's got your in, barrel in, number on it. Yeah, it's got my barrel number. <laughs> Damn, so like, if you want my dude. barrel. Uh, Damn. Maker's Mark, thank you very much. I appreciate. I like your oh, whiskey gosh. quite a bit, and uh, that's very cool. There you go, Jeff. Jeremy, last one. Last one. Last one. Top four. That's Matt Bragg. Right there. Uh, oh boy. Jeremy, I know you've been the Cuphead guy in the office, so I thought oh, you might enjoy yeah. this Cuphead-inspired tea I designed. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. What kills you multiple times makes you upset. <laughs> yes. Uh, I realized after ordering that it may be too big, but these shirts are apparently designed to be snug. Uh, so I ordered up a size. That's, you know, that's a good idea. Been an excellent source of comedy and achievement hunter, so I can only commend somebody who's been able to work in the dream job. P.S. This shirt isn't available for purchase because I want to ensure anything I decide holds up to copyright. That's a good, good smart, move. Smart thinking. Uh, you know, it says just in case anyone asks. It smells like vinegar. It, oh, yeah, it's, it's got stinky. that vinegary new shirt smell. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? It does have I'm that. I'm glad vinegar. he went up a size. Yeah, because that looks small. That already looks tiny. Yeah, so good choice on the going up a size. Well, it's, it's, it's long. It's long, but gonna, that's just You're going to be like this. You're going to be like... But yeah, it's that's and, and hence the reason I don't wear large shirts because they look like dresses on me because I'm <laughs> quite short. Um, but yeah, the Cuphead was one of those rare <laughs> games that I didn't. He's just, a platform guy. I he didn't loves give up on. 
Yeah. But, uh, not like yeah, Shovel Knight. Not like Shovel Knight. <laughs> <laughs> Michael watched me do that. Cup, Cuphead's way harder. Jeff, did he win? It is. Third place. Third oh, place. Yeah. Oh, that's not winning. Hasn't, hasn't, winning. Hasn't, hasn't had his blackout win yet. Hey, maybe we'll do a Get Good in Blackout. There we go. Maybe. So, anyway, thank you very much. It's been a really, really great 2018. Achievement Hunter had like our probably our best creative year ever. We had Achievement Hunter launch. We filmed a whole bunch of stuff. Jeremy came out as conservative. What do you mean came out? I've been conservative for so long, Jack. But you right? kept it inside. When you open your heart to patriotism, there is no room for prejudice. No room for prejudice, Jack! All right? Yes! <laughs> the box is We're shattered. gonna fix this nation! We're gonna put that wall up or America ain't never opening again! And then we're opening to my barrel! Borders like, closed! Somebody got me a world's best dad teddy bear. Aww. Aww. Was that meant for nice. someone else? Oh, I'm sorry, it's for Ryan. <laughs> hey, Alfredo, what's wrong? Look how tiny his hands are. Oh, they made his hands really small. It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is this pro-Trump? I think this is pro-Trump, and they still made his hands super tiny. Uh, well, it's accurate. You can't tell if Look it's... Look how tiny. Much, much like his actual presidency, you can't tell which is satire. Yeah. Like, they good. also they also dropped about 30 pounds off of him. Uh, he is, he does weigh like 190 pounds, what, according to his doctor? Bullshit. They did make his tie super long, though, which is good. Uh, anyway. This is very well, awesome. Is very awesome. That is Thank super you. cool. So... Thank you very much. 2018 was a great year for Achievement Hunter. Thank you very much, everyone, who watched all of our content. Achievement Hunter, Hardcore Tabletop, uh, the Let's Play Live during RTX. I mean, what, what else came out this year Good that was year to awesome? Go out on. See ya. We, we, got, a, we got an official it's Monopoly over. board game. We released our it's first over. card game. Heist. Monopoly. Yeah. Uh, we filmed the, the Weird Place. That that's coming soon. Gin Lock. Uh, Gin Lock. That's Gavin in 2018. That. <laughs> weird Place also 2019. Uh, we hired Alfredo. No, Alfredo was 27 yeah, last year. Oh, yeah. uh, we didn't we had, do shit this year. We had a bunch of guests. <laughs> uh, Galacticraft has been lots of fun. That was also was uh, this year? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It was this year. I think Sky, Sky Factory ended this year, right? Oh, so Sky many. Factory ended this year. Minecraft. It's only been like and 17 yes, weeks. So. Together, yeah. we <laughs> will make America great again. Ugh. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Ugh. We'll see you next year. 2019. Ah. Let's make it even better than this year. Love you. Bye. Goodbye is going on forever. All right, throw that away. Hey, right now, there's a site-wide sale, a New Year's sale going on right now in Vincero. Up to 25% off. Their mission is to create compelling luxury timepieces with impeccable craftsmanship to inspire as many people as possible to elevate their game and ultimately live their legacy. They have received over 13,500 five-star reviews on their site. That's pretty awesome. I like reading reviews, and when you see something like that, that's a good sign. You can customize any Chrono S or Kairos with a personalized message and create a gift that makes exactly the right statement. So you can have a little message on there if you want. If you want to give it as a gift. That's really sweet. Vincero literally means, I will win. It's also why everyone, <laughs> every one of our designs are rooted in the values of bold, daring, and pioneering. It is our hope that each piece instills a sense of rebellious confidence in the wearer, keep things classy, but never be afraid to challenge convention. It's time to live your legacy. We will be right by your side. Vincero is not a minimalist design company. They're very, very fancy, just like Jeremy. Um, they're tired of, they were tired of cookie cutter designs and mass produced minimalist watches that have flooded the market. All that. No, so these are these are very, very nice. Their watches have a distinct look and quality feel. The watch will get noticed and complimented. This is the last big sale of the year. If you go to vincerowatches.com slash awu to get up to 25% off. That's V-I-N-C-E-R-O watches.com slash awu. Vincero watches. I'm on a paddle boat in Achievement Hunter board shorts, and this is Awu. Ah!